There's much to consider when making a satisfying sandwich. What bread to use? Condiments? Should it be cut down the middle or diagonally? For some, also appetizing is engaging in what's become a universal debate over what is and what isn't a sandwich. Alex Corradetti sinks her teeth into this delicious debate. Merriam-Webster defined sandwich as two or more slices of bread with a filling of meat, cheese, jam, or various mixtures placed between them. But eh, what do they know, right? Let's take a bite out of this delicious debate. We started scanning for answers in our newsroom. What is a sandwich? How do you define a sandwich? I don't know how to define it, but I know it when I see it. What is this? It's a hot dog. What is this? So is a euro a sandwich? Is it, ooh, that's a good question. What is this? A corn dog. Is this a sandwich? No. What sandwich. Is, Not a sandwich. What is this? That looks like a sandwich. So how do you define a sandwich? Um, bread with meat. Mm. Has your definition of a sandwich changed after this conversation? I'm starting to panic and question everything. Chasing a trail of breadcrumbs from the newsroom to the streets. What is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, definitely. It's a hot dog. It's not a sandwich. You ask somebody for a good sandwich. They bring you a hot dog. What's your reaction? Not a sandwich. Not a sandwich. It's only a sandwich if it's from the sandwich region of France. The bun is not bread. It's and not the same thing. A hot dog is not meat. Mm, that's a tough one. Uh, no, I would say a hot dog is not a sandwich. After talking meat on the street, the data began to pile up like a club sandwich. We started stringing the pieces together. But what did it all mean? Then it hit us. Frankly, a lot of people seem to relish mentioning the hot dog. To find the missing link, we sought out someone who lives and breathes tubular meats. We went to the heart of you singers to see where the sausage is made. Sausage is serious business. So when we ask you the question, what is a sandwich? <laughs> well, basically, it's you got to have two pieces of some sort of bread or roll to make it a sandwich. The category of sandwiches is so big. Mm. Say we're in a pyramid of sorts. Mm -hmm. Is the sandwich at the top of the pyramid? And of course, something with sausage would be at the peak. The evidence pressing us like a panini, continuing to pile up. Our next stop, Cousin Subs, to visit a sandwich savant. What is a sandwich? How do you define it? In our industry, it'd be two pieces of bread around whatever you want to eat in the middle. Say you have a pyramid of sandwiches. Yes. What's at the peak of that pyramid? Cousin subs. Like really, at the end of the day, sandwiches aren't going away. They just continue to evolve. Ultimately, our investigation leads us to one crusty conclusion. A sandwich can be anything. Pop-tarts, regular bread, saltine crackers. It's what you make of it. The answer is sandwiched in American culture. But for now. That's a wrap. <laughs>